2003 UKMT, United Kingdom Mathematics Trust. 24. How many pairs of positive integers x and y are solutions of the equation 1 over x plus 2 over y equal to 3 over 19? 0, 1, 2, 3, more than 3. So here, because we are working with positive integers, it's good to multiply by the denominators to get rid of the denominators. And the cover of the problem, if you see, I've multiplied by the denominators. So let me write, okay, 1, the main equation, 1 over x plus 2 over y equal to 3 over 19. If we multiply both sides by 19xy, then I have 19y plus 2 times yy will be cancelled. 2 times 19 is 38x equal to 3xy. Please consider subscribing, like the video, and turning on notification y during the video. So, Let's focus on this part. I want to uh, factorize this, but the problem here is that we have three here. So let's do something. Let's take all things to the right side. It will be 3xy minus 19y minus 38x. Now, I want to factorize this. So I say 0 equal to. 3x, for example, times y, because I want 19y, negative 19y, I place here this. I want to reach 38. If I place any number, I won't reach 38x, because I have 3 here. So let's find in the nearest number, you can say minus 13. So if you consider this, I have 3xy, minus 19y, minus 39x, plus 13 times 19. So here, because I have 39x, here I have 38x. If I want to reach from negative 39 to negative 38, I should plus x here. And because I have plus this, minus 13 times 19 equal to 0. Now, if I take this part to left hand side, I can say 13 times 19 minus x is 3x minus 19 times y minus 13 here. Our problem is here it's not a number. For example, if here we had, for example, 5, we said, okay, the positive integer here, 1, 5, negative 1, negative 5, all the things we could check. But the problem here is that we have x. So we should get rid of this x. How we can do that? I will tell you two solutions. One of them, solution for number one, is for basic students that don't know divisibility is what in number theory. For example, A divides B, this sign. If you know this sign, A divides B, you can also uh, listen to solution number two. But if you don't know A divides B is what this sign, with only solution number one, you can understand the solution. Okay, so let's work on solution number one, which is more basic. Okay, so here I say 13 times 19 minus x is, I want to only write, focus on x, 33x minus 19. We call this part as k, times k. I want to reach a number here, I have 3x here. So if I want to get rid of that, I can say 3x minus 19, we know is equal to 3x minus 19. I want to get rid of this x, so I should multiply this by 3, so it will be 3 times 13 times 19 minus 3x equal to 3x minus 19 times 3k. Instead of 3k, I consider k prime, which is 3k. Now, 
I add them up together, left hand side 3x will be cancelled. So if I write down here, left hand side 3 times 13 times 19 minus 3x plus 3x minus 19 equal to 3x minus 19. You can consider k prime plus 1, which is called this k double prime. Now we can say minus 3x plus 3x will be cancelled. And you can factor from 19. It will be 3 times 13 minus 1 equal to 3x minus 19 times k prime. 3 times 13, 39. 39 minus 1, 38. So we can say 19 times 38 equal to 3x minus 19 times k double prime. And also we can conclude 38 is 19 times 2. So we can write 19 squared times 2 equal to 3x minus 19 times k double prime. So because 3x minus 19 is a divisor of this, so I should check all divisors of this number. And if you want to check them, let's write 3x minus 19 can be plus minus 1, plus minus 2 because of these two, plus minus 19, 19 times 2, plus minus 38, and 19 squared, plus minus 361, and at the end, this times 2, plus minus 2, 2, um, 7, 2, 2. Now I add 19 to both sides. Plus 19. So 3x will be 19 plus 1, 20. 19 minus 1, 18. 19 plus 2, 21. 19 minus 2, 17. 19 plus 19, 38. 19 minus 19, 0. 19 plus 38. Okay, so look, because we know 3x, x is positive integer, we don't need to consider from here minus sign. Also from here, 0 is not possible. So only we should consider plus signs here, because 3x should be positive. So 19 plus 38 will be 57. 19 plus 361 equal to 380. 19 plus 722 equal to 9 plus 2, 1. We have 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, 7, 4, 1. Now we want to reach x. We divide both sides by 3. So we only need to check because x is positive integer. The problem says we only check the cases that are multiple of 3. It is bad. 17 is bad, 38 is not multiple of 3, 380 is not multiple, other cases are good. 18 over 3 is 6, 21, 21 over 6 is 7, 57 over 3 is 19, and 741 over 3 is 2, 14, 4, 21, 7. Okay, so we need to only check these four cases. So let's copy our main equation, this one. Okay, paste it here, and we should check four cases. x equal to 6, x equal to 7, x equal to 19, and x equal to 2, 4, 7. So let's check. The so first case. If we replace x with 6, 19 times 6 plus 38 times 6 equal to 3 times 6. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here it's not 6, it's 19y. 38 times 6 plus 3 times 6 times y. Now we can divide both sides by, let's see. We don't need, we can say, okay. 3 times 6 is 18, and we can say, okay, 19y, if you take 18y to the left-hand side and this to right-hand side, 
it will be minus 18y equal to negative 38 times 6. And you will see, okay, y equal to negative 38 8 times 6 and it's contradiction. Because y should be positive integer. Let's check the next case, x equal to 7. So if we replace in our main equation 19y equal to 38 times 7 equal to 3 times 7 answer. Oh, here I should say plus 38 times 7 equal to 33 times 7 times y. And then let's see what can we do. It's 21. Okay, so if we take this to right hand side. 38 times 7 equal to 21y minus 19y, which is 2y. And then we can divide both sides by 2, and it will be 19 times 7 equal to y. So y equal to 7 times 9, 63, 7 times this, 1, 3, 3. So this case, x is 7 and y is 1. Three, three, one answer that we found. Third case, 19y plus 38 times 19 equal to 3 times 19 times y. We can divide both sides by 19 and then we can say, okay, y plus 38 equal to 3y. If you take y to right hand side, we can write 38 equal to 2y. And if we divide both sides by 2, then y equal to 19. So we found one more answer. 19x equal to 19 and 1, y equal to also 19. The last case, if we replace this one, 2, 4, 7. You can say it's 19y plus 38. We can write 247 as 19 times 1, 3. 38 times 19 times 13 equal to 3x, which is 19 times 13 times y. We can divide both sides by 19. Then we can write it is y plus 38 times 13 equal to 3 times 13 is 39y. Now, we take y to left hand side, to right hand side, and it will be 38 times 13 equal to 39y minus y, which is 38y. And then we can divide both sides by 38, and we will see 13 equal to y. So our last answer or our third answer, x equal to 2, 4, 7, and y equal to 13. It's our third answer. So let's check the choices. The answer will be 3. But here I told you it was solution number 1 that I do this thing. Now I want to copy this part and solve the rest, only this part, with divisibility. For the students that know divisibility is what? So I write solution number two, it is this. So when you see this, you can easily conclude 3x minus 19 divides 13. If you don't know divisibility is what, or if you have question, or want to learn ideas, there are around 40, 50 important ideas in each topics. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. So, okay, 13 times this. So I want to get rid of 3x. I say, okay, 3x minus 19. You multiply right side by 3. It will be this minus 3x. Then you say, okay, 3x minus 19 equal. It is somehow like two equations, two variables. You want to get rid of some constant variables then we do this and we multiply the right side by three now we add these two things 3x minus 19 divides this because each number divides itself so if you add these two numbers then we can say 3x minus 19 divides 
3 times 13 times 19 minus 19. And we can factor from 19. It will be 3x minus 19 divides 19 times 3 times 13 minus 1. 3 times 13, 39 minus 1, 38. So we've concluded the 3x minus 19 divides 19 times 38. Let me show you for a solution. 19 times 38, it was exactly this. 19 times 38, we said it divides this, and the rest of the solution is the same. 19 times 38, also here, 19 times 38. So we can say, okay, 3x minus 19, we can write it as 2 times 19 squared. So you can say 3x minus 19, again, divisor of this number, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 19, and so on. It was second solution. Okay, so if you want to learn, as I said before, learn important ideas that are useful in any exam, from basic level up to IMO, there are around 40 important, for example, formulas in geometry. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And also, Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, like the video if you had other solutions or if you found any place that couldn't understand, message below this video and or comment below this video. You can use my other playlist if you want harder problems, IMO. You can use the other playlist for AMC BMO to improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.